Take back what I said, Jinho, stay put. I'll handle this guy. <laughs> Let's go. Look at the weapon. Look at the detail. Yo, Jim Jim Wu starting to get a little crazy. What's going on, everybody? This is Dennis Smith, uh, host here at the Alternate Timeline. Welcome back to the channel. Another anime reaction, uh, and we are definitely reacting to solo leveling. Episode five is called A Pretty Good Deal. Very excited for this show uh, to continue uh, for sure. Uh, super smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, definitely appreciate you guys tuning in, uh, subscribing, and uh, check out the Discord. Check out the Discord uh, down in the description below. Um, everything starts there. Talk with me, talk with uh, some of the other members of TAT. Uh, we talk about anime, talk about superheroes, gaming, all kinds of stuff. So uh, hit us up in the Discord for sure. Uh, it's also a way to collaborate uh, with us. So maybe possibly getting on the channel, uh, you know, gaming you know we can collaborate in the gaming world we can uh you know collaborate on a podcast possibly you know we also have a website um and if you feel like writing something that you want to get published hit us up I'm telling you discord is, is the way to go to hit us up on all of these things feedback whatever it is uh that you have on your mind in this uh reality that we live in this alternate timeline that we're in hit us up now let's get to the solo leveling because um the boy jay woo that's what i've called i'm calling him jay woo that's the the homie right there and he's leveling up i mean <laughs> plain and simple he's leveling up uh he completed the dungeon in the last one uh where it was kind of like a secret dungeon that he got from a, a mystery box but well, he got a key from a mystery box kind of a secret dungeon down in this metro um he was down there taking care of some goblins he took care of some wolves with the like metal fangs uh and then he took care of the dungeon boss which was like a serpent snake thing that was really well animated that snake was on his ass and jay Wu had to get creative had to you know he had to move he had to use his abilities um and you can tell that he's getting stronger the way he's able to work with like his weapons now uh, he's, he's acquired some other things that you know he's, he's got an inventory full of abilities and, and weapons and all that kind of stuff so um he's acquiring some things and some skills which is nice uh beat the dungeon boss because his strength is op at the moment um and then after that he was just kind of like walking home i believe in found the uh there was a dungeon break so monsters was out in the the real world their real world um and he found oh girl i forget her name i think lee i know lee is part of her name uh that's the healer the rank b healer that was in the first episode that was kind of looking after jay woo um she was on the scene still traumatized and stuff but uh a group of you know e-rank characters and a couple d rank uh guys that were there trying to hold off this boss uh that broke out of the dungeon and they weren't doing too well they weren't doing too well just surviving basically getting by uh jay Wu had one of his like i think broken sword one of his broken like daggers or whatever and he got in position and when he got in position you could see his forearms too like his He's bulking up, so his daily training is, is helping out a lot. He's bulking up. Um, he got in position through the dagger. It broke the defenses of the boss just like that. And uh, uh, the team was able to defeat uh, the boss. And then the Lee girl, she's she's still you know going through it, but uh, I think she sensed Jin, Jin Wu's presence. And that was basically it. Jin Wu kind of walking off like, kind of doubting his own power still like he was like there's no way you know that one thing did all that they must have like was working on the shield for all that time and he was like the deciding factor or like the last you know factor into that but 
Uh, I think he's stronger than what he even thinks. And I'm sure we'll get to see more of him exploring what he's capable of. Uh, I think that we'll see more of, but this next one should be good. This next couple episodes should be good because we're getting into some, some uh, from here on out. Let's just say from here on out, it should be pretty damn good, this show. So um, if you haven't started to watch the show by now, go ahead and tune in for sure. Still early in the game, you can catch up. Let me turn this music off and let's get into it. Yeah, E rank. He has a great body, though, right? Looks our average, but he's cute. Look at the boy. Again, doing this because he has to, <laughs> not because he absolutely wants to. We might that might have moved up though. He might want to do this now, but he's got to get his daily, you know, training in so he don't get that penalty. He was unremarkable, but he has been in shape since he started working out. Look at the gossip in the hospital. You gotta stay away from the hospital gossip, man. The hospital gossip, something else. Excuse me. Oh, she walking in on him. Uh oh. You're blushing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I should apologize to you. Get your peek in. Said the muscles is firm. Thanks to you, I fully recovered. Yeah, we out of here. Please compute. Complete the procedures. Hi. We out of here. Why is she blushing though? Excuse me. Could you give me your contact? Oh, that wasn't in the manga, I don't think. Go for it then, girl. You don't mind. Boy, she's hitting on you. <laughs> he thinks it's procedure. Boy, she is hitting on you. He is oblivious, ain't he? Intro time, intro time. All right, y'all, solo leveling, solo leveling. A pretty good deal, a pretty good deal. Let's get it. Oh, news. Ohio, the Simons. Uh-oh. 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 That's mainly training. Daily training is indispensable. If I don't simulate actual combat, my skills would get rusty. Every day? You damn right. In my case, because of previous job, I'm used to regular training. A small mistake of mine could endanger my company. Ooh. That always makes me, okay. That's sis. Girl, Bring it out the house. Bonicha's brother. Ohio, I know Ohio. Good morning. Good morning. Come on now. Ohio, I live in the state of Ohio, so that's an easy one. <laughs> I live in the state of Ohio. He's been up for a while. He done got his workouts in. He got him scratching the abs. Even the sis is like, <laughs> are you alright, bro? You're getting taller too. Is that the result of your training too? The men can grow after they've reached adulthood, huh? I'm heading out. Boy. Sunny today. Yeah, put the umbrella in there. You can sense that. Better safe than sorry. He can sense that. Uh, he's got his goals to uh, run later. The muscle lock game must be due to the ability stats. I might. <laughs> he's talking about becoming a bodybuilder. Chill, bro. Level 18? That's not a bad level. Which one should I choose? I need to improve my agility. I'll boost my strength and agility. Okay. Also good for enhancing vitality. Perception is useful too. Exactly. 
He put it all on strength and agility. Landlord calling. You finally answered the phone. Sorry, I was hospitalized. Need to pay rent. All right, Pete, he on his Peter Parker flow. Peter Parker flow. <laughs> Needs to enter a higher level gate. However, an E rank hunt an E rank hunter like me has no chance of getting in. Right? Should I go for a reevaluation? If my hunter rank is higher, I could enter a high level gate. Right? Look at the, the gang. Gang. But it would attract too much attention. People with second wings. Not to mention hunters who grow stronger as their level increases. Mm. That would attract a lot of unnecessary attention. So he, this is him developing a plan because he got to be smart about how he maneuvers this. Like obviously his second awakening is not normal. It's a rare thing. So he's got to, he's got to move very smartly now. Can't just go be like, hey, touch the sphere and be, hey, I'm a A rank or B rank now. And. And then uh, start doing B rank, A rank missions, and people will see that he's just leveling up, getting stronger and stronger. Like, he don't belong. <laughs> so, he gotta be smart about the way he approaches this. Better not. At least I should be able to protect myself first. Yeah. Somebody texted him. Full recovery, ability points. Oh, he, he been summoned. Super famous. The weakest hunter of all mankind. Yeah, he famous like that, like that? So, sorry, my members are rude. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I kind of know what's about to happen. <laughs> this is good right here. This shit crazy. He's about to join. No problem. You're not counted as combat power, so you will not share the spoils. However, we will pay your commission fee of two million in cash. Four C rank hunters and two D rank lower ones. He said, "I understand." And that was another thing that they, they didn't do in the manga. He can just kind of see their levels. I like that. That's the, the perception skills. Not bringing a healer? It's difficult for them to recruit healers. Oh, he don't like the way he being... He don't like the way he touching him. So they're reckless. No healer is quite concerned. Sign that thing. Sign the contract. Because we're in the same boat. My name is Yu Jiho, 21 years old. Okay. D rank hunter. I was also brought in to make up numbers. D rank with such gears? Yeah, he got, he flashy, he flashy, he flashy. Yeah. I will protect you. My man's his height. <laughs> He's height. You gonna protect him with all that flashy gear on? You got some expensive gear on right now. Let's go, squad. He's good carrying all the bags. You don't have to speak so formally. Have you heard the president who marked this project escaped abroad with 900 billion funds two months ago? Their employees and investors are all complaining. Because I'm not used to paying attention to other people's reactions. I talk too much already. <laughs> Jim, who's doing the laugh? He's like, aha. <laughs> He's just doing the fake laugh. This is it. What a large entrance. Such size is really rare. Is this is really a C rank gate, though. This gate is huge. Flux of magic. Association will measure the value and classify it. Normally B rank and D rank. I've been a hunter for some time, but still, this is my first time in a C rank dungeon. Leader said, Follow me. 
Jin Wu, let's go. Look at the look at the boy. <laughs> look at the boy. Create some light. Got our magician over here. Not a single magic beast. There are no lights as well. A pitch black dungeon. We're talking about luminescent stones. Usually found on the walls or floors. Emitting light in the caves. The magic gems obtained from magic beasts. By the way, there's nothing here. Can there be a dungeon without any magic beasts? Uh oh. Let them tune in. The sound. There are magic beasts here. They just haven't shown up. Get ready. They're swarming towards the light source. It's insect types. Sounds like they're getting closer. Where are they, where are they coming from? Above. Whoa. I'll draw their attention. Please don't leave my side. Okay. Oh, he can he can make them. Oh, he can make them go towards him. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. I like that. I like that. He can be the distraction while the magic guy does his thing. Oh, they told him to step back. What good teamwork. They've been working together for long. Yeah. Maybe it's because they don't have a healer. The way they fight is rough. Jay Woo, he, he's getting everything. A boy is gathering information right now. You like that. As for Jin Ho, his equipment compensates for the lack of strength, right? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Everyone is doing well. But I feel... Kipping. A bit frustrating. Mm. No more enemies. We've taken care of them. Oh, but... Take all the magic gems and split them into seven parts. Thanks for your help. It would have been dangerous if we hadn't noticed a little bit later. How'd you know they were coming from above? Intuition. Sharp. Look at their wounds. Those aren't swords. Many of them were bitten to death like this. Oh boy. But they fight each other over territory, so there must be a stronger magic beast around here. Okay. Is that so? High ranking beast that preys on these insects. He said, Did you see the way I slayed that thing? Jinho, your sword and shield are expensive, right? Yep. Father bought it for me. High quality gear. He said, I don't know for sure yet, but it's better to be cautious. Look at the way he, look at the way he peeping everything. Okay. We're back into the city, back into the city. We're at some kind of gym here. Some kind of gym. Getting the workouts in. What was that sound? An explosion? Happens all the time here. The guild master is in training. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Damn! He pierced through that? This isn't even a warm up, he said. He said, hey, clean this up. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, now be back into the into the uh, dungeon. Although the dungeon is big, it's quite empty. But transporting luggage becomes quite a laborious in such a big dungeon. Jin Wu, can you still manage? He said it's not that heavy. It's good to earn money without having to fight a good deal. There you go, title of the episode, it's a good deal. No, too good actually. Something is fishy here. 
Battle hardened team yet without a healer. They even needed to make up the number. These magic beasts are also half dead. Really is strange. We haven't encountered a single uninjured magic beast during the walk. Boss should be somewhere. There's no boss, the gate won't open. Light it up! Boss room should be ahead. Look at this. Like webs. They slicing through further and further into the dungeon. They see a light now. They say, This is unbelievable. Oh, mana crystals. There's quite a lot. Not as valuable as the magic gem, but the amount, they are worth about a billion. They see a ton of magic uh, mana crystals. Shouldn't talk so lightly about his brother. You're not always right. I'm no longer the guy who always listens to his younger brother. I will use these as capital to build my team. Everyone will get over 100 million. Let me see your contract. Uh oh. Excuse me, may I ask you something? This is the contract you signed with Jin Wu. He's uh, is Jin Ho talking to the uh, captain. It only mentions the ownership of the spoils, but mana crystals don't count as spoils. Ooh, found a little loophole. So it should be divided into eight parts, right? However, we need to deal with that guy first. After defeating the boss, the gate will close. So we must move all the mana crystals out before defeating that spider. Luckily, it's sleeping. Now might be a great opportunity to mine. Left the tools in the car. Haven't I always told you to keep the tools with you? Somebody left the tools in the car. And you two stay here. We need to get the tools. Just the two of us in the boss room? Don't provoke it. This is also your first time in C-Rank. Just trust me, guys. Oh, he got the smile on him. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm talking about trust me. Nah, big fella. It don't work like that. I'll come back after a smoke. According to the rules, at least eight people are needed to conquer a C-Rank dungeon. Including Jin Ho and me. This team originally had six people. You've always managed like this, uh-huh. Which means they often conquer C rank dungeons. They should have regulars to make up the numbers. Block the entrance to the boss room. They, they evil, man. Did they betray us? As expected, sometimes you just come across such scumbags. Work is inherently dangerous, but even if an accident happens, it won't be made public since the crime rate is high. Ooh. There are no surveillance cameras in the dungeons, nothing. If everyone is dead, there's no evidence left. They use the weakest bait to lure the enemy or abandon them in there. In simple terms, it's like a gecko dropping its tail to survive. They plan to kill us over a few mana crystals. I talk too much about the contract. Oh, the boss starting to wake up. Hell no. Nah. We should be able to get out of from here. This must be their plan. Oh man, we're at the end of this episode. C rank boss. There we go. Difference in strength is too big. Another level. Take back what I said. Jin Ho, stay put. I'll handle this guy. <laughs> Let's go. Look at the weapon. Look at the detail. Yo, Jin. Jim Wu's starting to get a little crazy. You know, the main character got to have a little bit of craziness to him to be going through what they go through. That's every anime, man. Main character a little bit insane. Like a little bit. And it's activated here. 
It's activated. <laughs> Look at it. I'll take it down. Oh, are we not going to get into it? Oh, no, we're not going to get into it at all. That is the episode. Ooh, yeah. It's it's only going up from here. I'm telling you, it's only going up from here. Uh, that was episode five. A pretty good deal. Uh, so basically, the what happened in this episode is is Jay Wu gets done with uh, you know everything in the last episode with the dungeon, um, and the you know the other little fight that happened out in the streets. He's still in the hospital, you know, recovering. Leveling up, doing his daily stuff. You know, the, the girls is looking at him. They thinking he cute. Even one got his contact. One one got his got his, his phone number. You know, she she slid in the DMs. So uh, so we got that. I wonder if they'll ever touch back on that. The the girl getting his contact. I wonder if she'll ever call or text her as they do an anime, send an email. <laughs> so uh, I wonder if they'll if they'll get back to that. I have no idea. Just speculating here but uh so yeah he's he's looking good looking uh more you know physically stronger uh his sister is noticing it as well he puts the umbrella in her backpack she says she don't need it it's like sunny out but i believe like he's using his perception skills or something and can like sense you know there may be a storm on the way i think but anyways um he has a decision to make he's he's contemplating basically going to get you know his his ranking checked and seeing where he ranks now which is probably way higher than he was before uh so he'd be able to do higher ranking missions but if he did that people would certainly question how he was able to rank up and um people would definitely keep an eye on him now and he would have to join a, a guild that you know he doesn't know and and you know people would just it would be very noticeable the way that he levels up because he levels up at a way faster and different pace than everybody else. So it would be noticeable. Uh, I'm guessing that's why, you know, he didn't uh, go for it with that path. So he's still doing uh, other missions, kind of just as an E-ranker, uh, doing some easy things to get some cash, uh, found this guild that uh, he got notified by this you know, team that's going into a dungeon and they needed two more people uh, to basically not do anything but you get the rewards you get the cash rewards so yeah he's, he's as they team up and they go into their dungeon they he's he's kind of already like being perceptive and like he's, he's using his his skills to he, he's kind of peeping like how they're moving a little bit um and he was warned about how dangerous things could be by the captain, I forget his name, the captain that he was with in the very first mission that opened up the show, uh, that lost his arm in the big room, the, the statue room. Um, he, he was already getting, like, being put on to how dangerous it could be. And it basically is playing out exactly like that. So his team is kind of going in there, using the two extra people is Jin Wu and I think uh, Jin Ho, guy that's like uh, his first time on a mission with his dad bottom. You know, his armor it's all expensive looking and it's a uh, basically helping him with like his lack of strength that he has so um i'm just going fine at first but then you know it's starting to notice it's it's getting a little weird by the way they they're acting and stuff and they get to the dungeon boss and all of a sudden they forget their uh their tools and stuff so they want to go back and get their tools they tell the other two to leave uh, to stay there um so obviously a setup that happens here they block the exits uh and they're doing this because once they're done basically they come back and reap the rewards they don't have to split everything so uh that's kind of like their their method and they don't care they, they sacrifice a couple people for uh benefit of the six people that they have so yeah it's a uh, they they scamming people. They scammers. They high level sca scammers. I would say the important thing here is to just kind of notice some of the other things that they went into with the team uh, members, especially the captain. Like you know, he was mentioning a brother. 
you know, just like I'm not, I'm no longer gonna be the younger brother that this, this, and that. But you know, just pay attention to things like that because uh, they always bring them back. And uh, yeah, so it's we're right there. Uh, the boss has woken up. Uh, the boss has woken up, and you know they got to deal with Aspire. Jin was like, "Yo, Jin, who you don't know about this? Let me, uh, I'll handle this." So that is what we're looking at right now, and that's about it. Next episode, and I'm telling you, from here on out, it's gonna look, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be good stuff. It's gonna be fast paced. He's gonna find himself in, uh, you know, different kind of situations and everything. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be back next week. Uh, and I believe, hold on, I didn't get to the end of the thing to see the next episode, what it's called. The next episode is called The Real Hunt Begins. All right. So The Real Hunt Begins, episode six. We'll be back with that next week. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Super smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel and join the Discord. It's in the description below. Join that Discord. A lot of fun things going on there. I love to interact with you guys. So uh, definitely do that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.